freaking a song. That's what the taxpayers do. You can tell it's wing man time. Look at that pile of wings there. This is for real. Just get up there. He's already got this good. Just let's get started. Yeah, we were just talking about them. What is it? GGM? GMP, Guarantee Maximum Price. What is it? That is a price that a GC gives the owner or, you know, maybe the the county on a county project, whatever it may be. <clears throat> they give them a GMP, Guarantee Maximum Price, that we guarantee that your project is not going to exceed this price. So... Basically, they're saying we're going to put this in. This is all it's going to cost. In which, in reality, that's what you hope for. But what people don't realize is, like, when you get out of the bidding process, where you're taking, you know, two, three, four, five bids from other GCs, then, in which in a GMP, you're you're, you're doing the same thing. But those prices are elevated because there's not going to be any change orders unless there's something other than the scope of work that was listed that changes, and. They offer a savings back to the owner, whether it be you know an individual owner or a county or you know city, whatever it may be. And someone will say, you know, I'm going to give you back 25% savings. I'm going to give you back you know 50% savings, 75% savings, or whatever it is. They're going to keep the rest of it. But who suffers is a sub because the GC at that point wants to make sure they make the most money possible. So. They will beat their subs up, make their subs, you know, work for a minimum, not when I say minimum, very minimum profit or loss at that point because it's all said and done. You know, it's like we give a price, we're going to stay in this price, and we're going to guarantee that we're going to give them back X amount of dollars. So, realistically, the owner and the whoever that owner may be would probably be better off getting multiple bids and issuing change orders as the project goes on. But, you know, the change orders, in my opinion, should be reflected upon the architect and the engineer because the bid is based off the information that they have given. So if it's not legit, you know, they should suffer some of the consequences, but they never do. Wayne man is speaking the truth today. That's right. Yeah, man.